Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. Scorpio, this is going to be your next 48 hours. So if you, if you have Scorpio anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, and let's get down to it. What do we have for Scorpio next 48 hours? Okay, Scorpio. We have Guardian Angel. Okay, at the bottom we have Manifestation. More messages for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Rising. The next 48 hours, please. Step out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> Be bold and make the first move. Okay, you know what, Scorpio? I'm feeling like there's something that you want to do. There's something that you want to pursue. And it may be something that's very new to you. But I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you're, you have protection while you're going on this journey. While you're taking this new leap of faith. You know, we have experience in grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Yeah, so whatever it is that you want to share, you need to take initiative. Be bold. Make, make that move. Take initiative, you know. We have awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear the cloak of protection and love. See, so there, there's double confirmation. You have protection in whatever this is that you're pursuing. It may be love. It may be career. It may be your life in general. But take it how, how it resonates. Okay. More messages for Scorpio. Next 48 hours, please. Next 48 hours. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay, the Nine of Wands. And the Four of Wands. Beautiful. At the bottom we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful energy. Okay, I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know there's something that you're very close to achieving. Something that you're very close to a good outcome. To stay persistent, you know, don't give up this journey because I feel like this journey is going to lead to celebration and happiness. You have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So if you're opening to love, you know, this, this may be celebration. This may be love coming through for you that's going to bring a lot of happiness. Now, the same goes for whatever else in your life that this pertains to. It could be reason for celebration, reason for, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of satisfaction with this Four of Wands and Ten of Cups together. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're... You're really working on your resources. You may be working on some kind of situation that's going to build yourself up, make you more self-sustainable, more self-sufficient. But I feel like it's something that's going to bring you a lot of pleasure, a lot of success. We also have the Five of Wands. Okay, so this situation, there may be a lot of competition in the situation that you're pursuing. This could also be, you know, challenges and obstacles that you are overcoming in this situation. Um, but I feel like you're, you're pushing through them. The, the Four of Cups, this is stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, kind of accepting the opportunity that's given in front of you. And that may be what you need to do. There may be an opportunity that you may miss if you're not taking notice. If you're not very observant to the situation. 
And I feel like, you know, this is something that a lot of people want that a lot of people are pursuing. There's competition in this situation. And I feel like the opportunity is yours if you take initiative. Okay, let's get more messages for Scorpio. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords. The Two of Cups. And the Sun. Wow. Wow. Beautiful reading, Scorpio. We have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Sun, the Two of Cups. This could, this could definitely be something that you're pursuing in love. This could be something that's going to bring you a lot of clarity. A lot of truth-telling. You know, something that's going to bring something to total balance in the situation, but is bringing you so much happiness, so much awareness, you know. Okay, this may be some kind of new ideas that are bursting forward because of this love situation. And I feel like this is sort of a breakthrough that's happening that is bringing you a lot of contentment, a lot of joy. Look at this. We have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. There's so much happiness bursting forward here. It's beautiful energy. Um, I feel like you're leaving old emotions behind and kind of really anticipating what new ideas can be unfolding you know what new realities this can bring about okay <clears throat> tell me about this nine of wands four of wands ten of cups tell me more about the situation spirit for scorpio the next 48 hours the four of cups The Five of Cups. You're, you're progressing. Look at this. The Star. You're progressing. This situation is progressing. You are moving from that feeling of being stuck. Feeling of being kind of boxed in with your thoughts and emotions. With this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can be kind of apathy. Kind of the feeling of not wanting to move. Not wanting to get out of that comfortable space. I feel like whatever that is. You're leaving that behind. You're releasing that energy of feeling stuck. And you're moving into this healing phase with this star. You're finding a new passion. A new enjoyment. You know you are becoming your own spotlight. You're putting yourself first in the situation, Scorpio. So this is beautiful. Give me more clarity for this Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Four of Cups. Okay, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, with the, the Page of Pentacles, some kind of offer is coming through. This is some kind of offer, some kind of communication that's going to, that's very valuable for you. It's very important. You feel like you invested a lot of energy into the situation. And with the Seven of Swords energy, you know, you still have your guards up. You still have this fear that someone wants to take something. But in reality, someone is actually wanting to give you a gift. Now, for some of you, this could be some kind of communication of someone asking for something and not really wanting to give back the same generosity. 
you know the the seven of swords this is someone taking this is someone being sneaky the six of pentacles this is being balanced you know equal give and take so i feel like that's kind of what you are pursuing at the moment you're pursuing a new beginning of something that's going to give you the same as you're giving and I feel like you have a fear of someone taking more than they deserve and leaving you with less you know so I feel like you're kind of on guard with that situation you're on guard with that feeling those feelings are kind of bringing those negative emotions Tell me more about this Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, the Sun. Tell me more, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, we have the Death card. We have the Ten of Cups again. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, so w with this Ace of Swords energy, this breakthrough this clarity that you're receiving, these new ideas, is totally transforming into something that you may not have realized because it's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment. Look at this. We have the Ten of Cups on top of the Two of Cups. So some kind of passion that you have, some kind of love interest, is, is gaining a happy ending. And it may be because you're kind of transforming your thinking from what you have been in the past to what may be in the future. You know, I feel like you're pushing past these energies. And I feel like you're, you're like taking it slow. You're moving at your own pace. You know, you're, you're looking to feel grounded, to feel protected to, you know, move at your comfort level, you know. Um, we have the four of pentacles on the bottom, so there's definitely something that's worth you protecting. There's something that you value so much that you are looking for that balance that's support yeah we have the the king of cups so you're definitely looking for support on the situation you're looking to control your emotions to control how you feel about things you know you may have been very emotional in the past i'm sorry scorpio but you know this could be your energy or someone else's but it could be that you were very emotional in the past and now you, you're, you've kind of stabilized those emotions. You've gotten emotions under control. And this can also be, you know, you gaining the support that you need to feel stable, to feel happy, to feel supported. You know? Um, beautiful energy. Um, I mean, this is a really good reading. I feel like all roads lead to your happiness. And this is just the next 48 hours, Scorpio. So, I mean, this is beautiful. The next 48 hours is going to be like a roller coaster ride of enjoyment. Okay, let's get more clarity for Scorpio. Okay, yeah, we have the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely something is coming into balance. You may receive some kind of word about a situation. Something that you put a lot of energy into. There's some kind of action that you have taken. Or that someone wants to take in your direction. That's going to bring you a lot of abundance. You know, this is like new energy that's bringing about some kind of new investment, some kind of new prosperity, you know. The pinnacles deal with material things. They also deal with your health, with family, 
So take it how it resonates. But I feel like something is definitely turning in your favor to where something that you've done in the past is now being rewarded. And I feel like whatever this is, this is huge, Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Libra. Okay, we have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, wow, and the Hierophant. Okay, so I feel like this is a lot of happiness. This is gifts being given to you, you know. This is feeling at home in your situation. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is this is overwhelming happiness. Now look at this. We have two Ten of Cups. We have the Sun. We have the Four of, of Wands. And now we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have confirmation that happiness, abundance, overflowing is in your future. And like I said, this is just the next 48 hours. So something huge is about to happen in your life. Something that you least expect. But I feel like it's all because you were faithful. You stood on your beliefs. You may be becoming more spiritual at this time. Or really diving into that spiritual side of your life. You know, but the Hierophant, and I keep saying this, but the Hierophant, he sits be between two pillars. Those pillars are the pillars of obedience and disobedience. And he wants to take the right path. He wants to make the right choice. He wants to go, go the right way. He wants to lead in a way that, you know, he will gain attention, followers, and spiritual growth. So I, I feel like whatever this is, it's leading you down the spiritual path of growth and expansion. Beautiful energy, Scorpio. Beautiful. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. And the Two of Cups again. Look at this. On this last row, we got the Two of Cups twice. So I really feel like this is something that you really value. This is something that you are like being persistent about. But you're setting your boundaries. You, you're not going in it half cocked. You know, you, you have good intentions. But I feel like there's something that you're really taking an initiative with. There's something that you're really making moves. There's some kind of, you know, energy that's bringing about this huge passion to move forward, to move into these new discoveries. This, this Knight of Wands, this also may be you taking this new adventure, this new journey. Going to new destinations. Maybe this new love is taking you on a destination where you haven't been. Where you haven't pursued. You know? But if you're open to love, Scorpio, love is definitely here. We have double confirmation that love is coming through. Now this could be friendship or partnership. But I'm really feeling like this is making you feel really overjoyed. In this situation. So I really feel like this is a love and trust. That's coming through. And it brings a lot of passion. I feel like there's a lot of communication. There's a lot of back and forth. You know. And. I feel like it's bringing a lot of happiness. Let's get some more oracle cards. For Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in the next 48 hours? Expect miracles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Expect miracles. And surrender. Everything is happening in its divine timing. Everything is coming to fruition that was meant to be yours. 
What other messages do we have for Scorpio, please? Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, so dream big. Dream big. Expect miracles. And when you're setting your intention, be specific. Be very specific. It's time to take action. Definitely. And we have a lot of wands in this reading. So I really feel like, you know, you're taking the initiative. At the bottom, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. So, yes, yeah, something is also being resolved. Something is coming to a conclusion. Something is, um, I feel like you're gaining harmony in the situation with all of these tens. Okay, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we have increased awareness. We have deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Definitely. And look, look what that's on. The, it's going to be a deep connection between you and this Two of Cups interest. It's going to be very deep, very emotional. Okay, at the bottom we have forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So I definitely feel like this is something that you may not be expecting, but I feel like this is very overwhelming, very beautiful for you. We also have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. Oh, I'm sorry. My stomach is growling. You understand the connection between all things. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, so that is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Um, your sun, moon, and rising can have more messages that resonate okay so until your next reading scorpio many blessings to you love and light